done, done me and you bet I felt it I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks All right, lesson 3-3, three, three, linear combinations. Linear combination is a situation in which all variables are to the first power and are not multiplied or divided by each other. So they're very simple little combinations. of Some examples of which are, okay, uh, 3x plus y equals 2, the classic slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Um, let's see, perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, okay. All the variables are to the first power and they are not being multiplied together. Um, things like this, area is equal to length times width. That would not be a linear combination because these two are being multiplied together. Okay, so there we have it. Alright, here's an example. This particular example is going to have a discrete domain, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, Thad is treating his friends to ice cream at Mary Kate's Ice Cream Palace. Now, a cone costs two dollars and a dish is one dollar. Thad spends a total of eleven dollars. Now, we want to write. First of all, we want to describe this with an equation. Okay. And I purposely made this easy so that it wouldn't be too problematic. All right, C, 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 a cone. Let's let C stand for the number of cones bought. All right, so each cone is going to cost $2. So that'd be two C's plus however many dishes were sold. Each dish is $1. So that's going to be one times the number of dishes. And the total that he spent was 11 bucks. So we can see. Um, we have variables to the first power and they're not being multiplied or divided so this is a linear combination and linear combinations come up in life all the time they're very very practical and that's why we have a lesson on it alright now we want to see um, a graph of every single possible thing that could happen here and the easiest way to do this is to take a look at all the different ways that this can be done um, let's see here the cones are two and the dishes are one. So let's compare this. Let's make a table and compare cones to dishes because there's only so many ways that this can be done because he's only spent $11. All right. Let's say he didn't buy any cones. So if he spent nothing on cones, he would have to have spent the whole 11 on dishes. So then 0, 11 would be a solution to this problem. Now let's say he bought one cone that would take away two dollars out of the eleven and there'd be nine dollars left to spend on dishes. If he bought two cones there would be okay that would take away four dollars from the eleven and there would be seven left for the dishes. Alright and then three would be five Four cones would take away eight. There'd be three dollars left. All right, what about five? If he buys five cones, that would be ten dollars. There's only one dollar left then for the dishes. So literally, these are the only combinations that can possibly work at the ice cream palace for eleven bucks if you're just buying cones and dishes. All right, and that's why we say this is a discrete domain, okay? There are only one, two, three, four, five, six values for which this works, this equation works. So that's discrete. Each one is separate, okay? There's not an infinite number of possibilities here. All right, now what's this discrete graph going to look like? Well, first of all, it's all going to be in the first quadrant. Um, remember, your independent variable goes first. Um, the C actually determined how many D's there were going to be. So we'll put cones on the x-axis here. This will be cones because that's where the independent always goes. Dependent goes on your Y and this is dishes. Okay and alright now dishes has to go up to 11 but cones only has to go to 5. 
So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At zero cones, we had 11 dishes, so there's a single point right there. At one cone, there were nine dishes, which is right here. At two cones, there were seven dishes sold, and so on. So here you see, we do have a linear pattern. I was a little bit off on this one because I drew it by freehand. But nevertheless, we cannot connect these because these are individual discrete points that work for this particular problem. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get